Okay, this is just a quick video. Uh, I only have uh, about a minute uh, so that I can post it on Instagram uh, of this uh, particular MIA Robo Cart. This is very similar to the MIA Robo Trike, which controls the ultralights. The pilot is direct control, controls via the arms. The arms connected to the servos are actually what do the steering of the. Uh, okay, so this is the MIA Go Kart, Robo Go Kart, rather. I'm going to run this. It's got a belt drive. Just some of the details here. That's uh, actually one of the first motors that I used to sell with the MIA, MIA 280 radio control helicopters back in uh, 1999. These are the motors, DC brushed uh, motors that we used to sell with those particular helicopters. Uh, and if you go on Google and search for MIA Robin 280, you'll probably find that motor is part of our kit that we used to sell back then so I've reintroduced that in this particular um, uh, model just to test run it it's not the ultimate mo motor I plan on using a brushless motor here but just for this run here that I'm gonna do in a few minutes here a test run This is Mario with MIA Microflight once again, and this is the MIA RoboCart radio control go-kart that I've been uh, developing in the past uh, couple weeks. This is going to be a kit uh, coming up uh, very shortly. We have been doing some uh, preliminary tests, uh, primarily to test the uh, components, durability, uh, the uh, efficiency of the mechanisms, uh, the motor itself and this is a DC brushed motor very uh, same one that we use on the MIA Robin 280 of 1999 so I've had these motors uh, I had uh, an extra batch of motors so I decided to use uh, these on this particular uh, go-kart because it just keeps things a little bit simple and uh, inexpensive this is operated by a two cell battery lipo this one is uh, 850 milliamp hour two cell via a turnage uh, uh, brushed 20 amp uh, ESC it really doesn't pull 20 amps but uh, this is one that I had so this is the one that I used uh, I use this one of these orange uh, receivers that match the orange transmitter my trusty transmitter of many 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 years uh, this is the one that I have been using for flying all my uh, ultralights, microlights, uh, auto gyros, uh, land yachts. I mean, it's it's one radio that's all. I'm not trying to promote the radio. I'm just showing you know what I'm using here. You can certainly use a pistol type uh, transmitter with uh, with with this particular product as long as the transmitter is able to bind to the receiver and it matches that configuration. So this is uh, to show the uh, latest mods and upgrades that I've been doing. Not necessarily upgrades because these are things that have to be done before I release the product. But um, I changed the motor bracket here. I had a, a kind of a very stocky motor bracket before and it was uh, vertical. It was two pieces. It was one that provided uh, the vertical framing or support for the motor and then it had the motor clamp as a separate item and you could change the distance just to make the uh, belt uh, drive a little bit tighter or looser but this pretty much does the same thing except that I've cleaned that up and now it's only one piece and it's horizontal it's more uh, more streamlined or in line with the uh, base so it's very low profile too so it keeps the motor from up here where it was before to more in line with the base very streamlined, very simple, and it only takes uh, two pieces, the clamp, which uh, uh, clamps the motor, as well it clamps onto the uh, rear square aluminum tubing. This is an aluminum tubing uh, frame. The uh, back, the center, and the front are all aluminum uh, square tubing, very, very sturdy uh, setup, and then the rest of the pieces are 3D printed. Uh, which wrap around the aluminum frame very much in similar fashion to the way I do the 
micro lights uh, and ultra lights. If you have one of those kits, you uh, you understand where, where I'm coming from with, with, with this. It's very much that I follow the same techniques and the same uh, things that have worked for me for many years for my products, really, not, not, not really for me, but all the products that I design are very, very durable. And uh, you won't find stuff like that on online or on the market because, uh, you know, that's one of the things that um, MIA Microflight does is very unique stuff. In fact, the, the whole RC go-kart is very unique um, besides the fact that it, it is, it does look like a, a go-kart, but if you can see, you know, how the pilot steers, you know, the steering mechanism is linked to the legs and also the arms. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, activate the uh, the head. I'm going to put another servo that's going to require another servo for the head so that it moves just like my uh, MIA uh, pilot figures that I use on the 1.25 micro lights and larger uh, kits uh, move. You know, the, the head moves so it creates a little more realism with, uh, with the head movement. I may also decide to uh, change the head and just use the regular pilot heads that I use that, that look like a real pilot. Um, they're also 3D printed, but it gives a little more re realism, and you can see the pilot face and not just a, a robotic uh, helmet. This this was intended to be. This is a Robotrek, so that that's where the name also stems from. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's a robotic pilot control. Now, originally in my in my first um, my first takes of uh, this product, the video takes, I. Um, I had set the uh, torso with two servos, just like the way I control my micro lights. But in this particular case, as, as I was testing it, I found that it uh, it doesn't really uh, work as um, as well for the go kart because you know this is not a trike where, where there's a, a big bar that is uh, held by the pilot's hand, like hands like in the uh, MIA micro lights and ultra lights that I use this pilot in. So it uh, for the steering and because of these angles here, you know, the steering wheel, I had this linked to the hands just like you see it here, but these were oper operated by servos, two servos in differential mode. Um, they had to steer the, uh, the wheel and then the wheel had a shaft here and then that shaft had an angle here to the steering column and then, or to the steering um, uh, rods here and the, the rods had to be at the front and I really didn't like that setup with the rods at the front. So I wanted the rods at the back, as you see it here. So the rods are underneath, and it's got this uh, linkage here direct to the uh, one servo. In this case, I'm only using one servo for the steering, which is linked to both the legs and the arms that provides the, the realism that you see here. So it's still steering, but it's not steering via the two servos as before. So we're saving on one servo there. That's another feature of this particular uh, uh, version here. Uh, that you you're only using one servo for steering. The other servo is going to be for the head, and that'll operate the head. Uh, it's something optional at the moment right now, and I'm I'm considering doing that just to give it a little more realism. But uh, I wanted to basically uh, discuss that because that's one of the major changes that I've done since the first uh, version. Um, this is going on version two, and then my third version is typically with my all my products is the final version. And from then on, anything that, uh, any changes that I made in any uh, updates and upgrades are, you know, as, as, the, as the model uh, evolves into the hands of users. Sometimes I get um, feedback from users, many times I don't. They're quite happy with the, uh, you know, with the stock uh, kits as I provide them. And, uh, but many times I get bored with the same setup and then those are the... Okay, so I am going to do an very quick run here because my battery on my phone is a little bit low so maybe I'll capture uh, about a minute of uh, run time here for my Instagram uh, account so here we go
This is Mario with MIA Microflight, and this is the MIA Robo Kart. It's a radio control go kart. One of the latest changes that I've done is I've added the pilot head instead of the robotic head as before. Now it's got the MIA pilot head. This is the MIA pilot uh, head that I use on the ultralights, microlights, pretty much all my other products in the 1.25 size. This is a 1.0 size, which is uh, smaller uh, to fit uh, in proportion to the scale of this particular product here, this radio control go-kart. But as you can see, the head is now operated by a servo, and the steering is also linked, linked to the legs and the arms. So it provides total movement of the pilot figure as I think it should be done to provide uh, added realism. This is Mario with my Microflight, and this is a very short uh, version of my uh, video where I talk about the uh, track design layout that I just did for this area here. Right now I just have 4x4s four laid out on the ground just to get an idea of how this is going to look. Uh, when I finalize this, this will have um, specific uh, material for the uh, fencing and also for the divisions, and I plan on using uh, putting greens for the sections here. You know, just to give it a little more pizzazz. The uh, radio control cars or go-karts that uh, we're running are these uh, MIA 1.2, not, not MIA 1.25, these are actually 1.0 size, which is uh, almost a 1 12th scale. This is the latest product that we have been working on, and uh, I've added this uh, crash guard here with these uh, wheels here, as bumpers and uh, uh, cart uh, savers. So stay tuned for more, and I'll be talking more about this track and how this uh, comes out. And okay, let's see if I can uh, videotape as well as I control the model here. It's going to be a little challenging. I'm going really slow here. So I got one hand on the control and the other hand on my cell phone. So I can videotape this. Well, basically, I'm just following the layout that I designed for this backyard. So it'll go around there, let's put a little more speed there. It'll go all the way around the end or the side of the, that fence. It'll come around. That's, it'll come around here. This will have a division. It'll follow that track right there. And it'll curve right there. And it'll curve immediately another curve right there. And then it'll follow with another curve here into a uh, circle or a roundabout. Right about there and into a right turn circle a long run into another circle and for the uh, longest uh, stretch which is that side there this is Mario with MIA Microflight and this is the latest MIA Robo Kart a radio control go-kart in one-tenth scale I've added uh, a few things here. You can see the bumpers new from my previous uh, videos. These uh, uh, body panels are also new. I do plan on making a rear bumper for this. Uh, currently, uh, I'm working on that. And these are the braces that brace these panels. There's another one over here. Some of the wheels, uh, as you can see, these are full rubber wheels, as opposed to my previous wheels that were done, as you see them, see them on these other models here. It's just a bunch of wheels. I mean, I have done probably a few dozens of variations and wheel sizes and different uh, ways of uh, attaching the tires, various uh, different ty types of materials for tires. 
and these are the better ones and these are the ones that are going to be in the final end product coming up very soon so stay tuned for more tracks they're all RC mm -hmm. they're like way bigger than this one track was um, pavement and the other one was dirt nice my brother and I used to have so much fun just like pretending we were cars and running on the dirt track <laughs> right how big was it uh so like if you take it's probably like the area of the same size of like all the rock over there, mm -hmm. and with all the turns and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. Okay, go do it, do it, do it. We are running these radio control uh, oh MIA God, Robo so go karts in the back here, here with sparklers in the back in lieu of the flags. Bring it this way so I can see it. Yeah, you can bring it pretty close. Oh, oh don't run into it! Yeah. Hard left, Becky, hard left! Careful, Becky. Yeah. Oh, don't Becky! Yeah. Don't run into this! <laughs> oh my god! We need better drivers! <laughs> go, go, Let's just go, go, go around go, the go, perimeter. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh. No. We need a real good camera. Go, go, go. Pass by respawn. Pass by respawn. That's a pretty cool idea. Try to hit us. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 